you know, I know it's all about things that inspire us. And I love that because it almost takes me back to, it goes back to awareness, isn't it? Personal like awareness of what are things around you. Yeah. And evolving that because when I said about my mental health and I was doing, I was on the, you know what I said about, I was on, I felt like I was on the treadmill of just going to work, coming home. Yes. You know, get, going to sleep, coming, coming, getting up, going to work. And the whole thing of that, when I, when I heard you talking was, I didn't appreciate that, but me doing my job as we do the jobs, I actually, I actually am helping people. I wasn't really seeing that. I wasn't applying what that purpose was to my life. I couldn't see the purpose, but there was a purpose. If I was, if I'd been more aware at that point in my life, and it's why I love, you know, the age that you guys are at, because I was not as aware, at, you know, especially at Ryan's age, as, as, as Ryan is right now, about the awareness of that. Because that might have helped me get through my mental health quicker to realize that actually I do matter. What I am doing is making a difference somewhere. Like like Ryan said, you know, getting people back on the right, whatever it might be, right? So that's the first thing. And this also reminded me of your your contribution around mindful eating. And actually when you said in that episode, because I, I did all the podcasts, so I always rerun them. So I, I, I take lots of, a lot of it goes in where you are eating your food. And it's a bit like us in the industry we work, we get people fixed and whatever where that food is has been so has to been supplied to us in some way shape or form someone would have had to stock the shelves someone would have had to grow the food someone had to import yeah. it or if it's a local farm they've had to have trucked it out so again what this says to me is one of Stephen Covey's big things that we're all interconnected in some way and it's really interesting because actually when we think about that in a big way the system's very fragile <laughs> because yes, everybody's got 100%. to do their job so if someone doesn't do their job down the line i ryan doesn't do the thing with the farmers if that guy hadn't done thing with his road right you may not got to scotland and ryan was saying ryan's maybe a f- f- food, food food production right whatever it is so this is why i think it's really massive it's a really really good good uh thought to have because i think it's appreciated that was a, when you were sitting in your car you know, who's done the cup holders? Who's who's actually made the engines? Who supplied the parts engine? Who's supplying the petrol? Who's getting the tires to you? You know, you know for you to get to A to B, who's clearing the roads? As you get to words, you know, the people emptying the bins. You know, all these sort of things that we take for granted. And I think you said something. Both of you said something before. We tend not to notice if things are working. We tend to notice when things aren't working. Yeah. So thinking about the strikes that are going right now, we got in England. We've got rail strikes. We've got NHS strikes and all this. So you can start to see. When infrastructure starts to break down, you can see how we're all interconnected. So I think it's a really big piece of work. That is why I think this is really inspiring because I think in any jobs we do, in anything we do, we can find a purpose and meaning in the everyday. And going back to that whole thing about, you know, there was that, that was story, wasn't there, about when someone asked the person who was emptying the bins at NASA, I can't remember the actual thing, the thing behind it, said, um, what are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm helping someone get to the moon. Who's emptying the bins to keep the place tidy to I get someone that. to the moon? Love that. And that is so powerful because that's what this means. This is what this all brings this back to. And it's so, so whatever job you're doing, whatever you're doing, whatever you're contributing, you ever that try to chat with someone that can have an effect on someone that helps them do something. In fact, someone reached out to me and wanted some mentorship. So I'm doing mentorship. And again, I've got to be careful how I interact with that person, right? Because that's going to affect their production and how they go on about their lives. So we are all connected. Um, and everything that's around us right now, even this podcast, right? You've got your computers, we've got our lights. Thinking about how they're supplied to us, you know, Amazon at the minute. Amazon at the minute, I mean, they've got a strike going. <laughs> you know, so, but if this stuff falls down, we start to know, oh, we start to recognize. You know, so that's really the only time we sort of recognize, oh, this is happening. But we should be doing what you're saying, Lee and Ryan, recognizing it now before the things break down, appreciate and actually appreciate what we bring and doing our best. Because if we do our best, that's going to help someone else along the line. 100%. 